So we looked at the concepts equilibrium, excess supply and excess demand. And we did so using tables. And from the table we drew diagrams. And on the diagrams we indicated equilibrium, excess supply and excess demand. But we already said that we can draw and we use diagrams a lot, of, lot in economics and we draw the diagrams freehand. If we do so, we start with the axis, we name the axis, price and quantity, and we know that the demand curve slopes downwards from left to right, and the supply curve upwards from left to right. And where the two curves intersect, we have equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. From the information in the table, we could say this would be at a price of 4 and a quantity of 3,000. Price of 4, quantity demanded equals 3,000, and quantity supplied is also 3,000. So, yes, we have indeed equilibrium. But I want to point out two further factors. One is that any price other than 4, we have disequilibrium. And this disequilibrium can be represented by excess supply. If the price is higher than 4, we have excess supply. Or the disequilibrium can be re represented by excess demand. That is, if the price is below 4. Secondly, we can also show equilibrium using symbols. So instead of a price of 4, we can say, well, let's use PE to represent equilibrium price. Instead of quantity, we can write Q1. At a price of PE, quantity demanded equals Q1. Quantity supplied equals Q1. So at a price of PE, quantity demanded equals quantity supply, and therefore we have equilibrium.